I'm going to make fajitas, beef fajitas. I like to make them sometimes, you know, when I'm hungry or when I want to share it with my friends or my family. And for this recipe, we're going to use uh, beef loin three tip steak boneless. You can also use um, this kind of meat right here. This is a beef chuck. Or you can use, if you want to use a better quality of meat, you can use riba steak or you can use filet mignon. Any kind of meat will do it. And maybe you can use like two pounds. But before you do that, I'm going to show you the meat that we're going to use. And we're going to put it here on a cutting board. Uh, we, want, we have to cut it like in a style, you know, in a fajita style, Julian style. And right here we have it. I bought it uh, in a supermarket and what you want to do here just cut it into a strip and then after that you start cutting it this way and that's all you have to do it's very easy to make this recipe at home you don't have to go and buy it in any supermarket all you need is a lot of meat vegetables and the desire to cook it at home See right here, that's the, that's the way you want to cut it. That's why they call it fajitas. And after you cut the meat, just put it here in a container. Fajita means like little belts. You know, the one that you use to for your pants. That's what it means. And we have here like maybe what, two pounds? I don't really remember. But like I say, you can use any kind, any amount of, of meat. But very important, I like to use uh, Lee and Perry sauce, Lee and Perry's, or Worcestershire sauce. Uh, this gives a nice flavor to the meat, and it also, um, that's how I marinate the meat. Just add some here. And you don't, you, you don't have to use a lot of ingredients for this recipe. But uh, I like to use this thing that is called uh, Goya. This is like achiote. And achiote is like anato, but I know some people won't find this but I, I suggest you use uh, um, uh, paprika, non-spicy, unless you want your meat spicy. And I use like one or two powder. You want to also use a little bit of cumin in there, not too much, just a little bit. And then add some pepper. I like to put garlic powder in here too. And this is how I marinate my meat. You can also marinate it in your own style or your own way. I like, I, like, I like a lot of garlic, that's why I put a, a lot. And at the end, just put some uh, salt, kosher salt, and start mixing everything. And, you know, the, what you want to do here is just, uh, after you add all these ingredients, just let it, let it sit there for maybe an hour. It will get a nice flavor. Or you can just save it in the refrigerator and cook it the next day, and it will taste so much better. And with a fork here, just start mixing it. And these are the vegetables that I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, two yellow, two green, and two red bell peppers. Hey, yes, you have to use a lot of those uh, vegetables for this recipe. And what you want to do here is just wash them like any other vegetable, right? Before you cook it. And I'm just going to cut maybe just one just to show you the way that we are supposed to cut these uh this bell pepper you don't want to cut them in cubes you have to cut them in julian style or um fajita style right just remove the seeds you know remove all the uh, membranes of the bell pepper and i'm gonna cut it this way here i'll show you one two three four five six you don't want to cut them too thick because it will take longer to cook. Just, you know, make sure you cut it uh, very thin. And that's how you have to do it. You can see it right there. Next to the knife. That's the way we want to cut it. So, here, here you can see it right there. I already finished cutting the red bell pepper. I'm just going to cut a little bit of the green bell pepper just to show you. And I'm going to cut the yellow one as well. So, we have to cut everything, right? You know, it takes a little bit of time and effort, but at the end, the result will be outstanding. You will eat something delicious. So forget about going to a fast food restaurant and buying fajitas. There's no way they're going to cook it 
delicious the way you want to do it at home right here i already finished cutting all the bell peppers and for this recipe i'm gonna use two uh, big uh, white onions you can use yellow if you want but don't use any purple um or or, or any other color and the way we, we want to cut the onions is the same way you know julian style or fajita style it's very easy to cut the onion you know you can see it right here so once in a while I, I like to um or sometimes people ask me if i could make a, a recipe in english and i say okay you know it takes me a little bit of time but at the end i always like to comply with most requests so I got, I got two onions, you know, make sure you don't cut your fingers in here, take your time. And you can see right here, as you start pulling the onions, you know, they start, uh, they are in fajita style. That's how we want to cut the onions. I know some people don't like onions, don't worry, you know, once you cook this, you will not see anything. Um, we're going to use uh, extra virgin olive oil. We're going to put it in a pan. What I like to wait is... When the oil is hot, then I start putting the meat in there. And the meat will cook very fast, you know. Now, if you don't want to fry your meat, you can grill it. I don't have a grill yet. But uh, you can put it in the oven if you want. I know some people, you know, don't like using vegetable, but the, uh, don't like using oil, but this oil is okay. And after you put the meat on the pan, you start frying. You can stir fry everything here. I don't know how long it will take you. Uh, it probably will take you what like seven minutes eight or maybe less you know the idea here is to cook the meat and everybody has a different you know stove the heat is different and you know it takes time just put a lid there wait till it cooks we're gonna check maybe like in two minutes let's wait open the here and you can see everything start cooking everything smell delicious you know and and your kitchen will smell wow like latin food you can see right here i'm steering left right middle center making sure everything cooks you know fine it probably took me like four or five minutes i don't remember uh what you can do is just grab a piece of meat with a fork and just to see if it's already cooked that's what i did here i just grab a piece i took a bite or you can cut it and, and the meat will cook very fast. Okay, that's all we have to do. We've finished cooking the meat. I like to cook everything separately. I don't like to put everything together at once. No way, you cannot do that. So let's put the meat in a container. Let's, let's have it sit there. Why? Because we're going to fry the vegetables. You know, you cannot cook everything together because the vegetable will take longer. And we, we, we don't want to cook um, uh, the meat along with the vegetable because it won't it won't work so we add some oil right wait till it gets very hot and then we start putting here the bell peppers and the onions you can see that, that i'm not using garlic right because i already added garlic powder but you can put garlic if you want to so let's put all the vegetables in the pan and we what we're gonna do we want to fry everything we want to make sure everything um is cooked well so it will take you some time to, for the vegetable to reduce in size okay you can see there are many right but at the end you will see how they shrink or they they get reduced by the heat by frying them so if this one i don't know maybe 10 minutes but here i will show you that i made this video not too long so i took some shortcuts here just to show you that you can fry all these and they will be reduced i like using a lot of vegetables every time i cook so you don't want to just eat meat and rice right you want to also have vegetables and after maybe like seven eight minutes you can see that the vegetables are reduced okay so this is the time for you to add all the meat in there and there's some juice you want to also make sure you put the juice you know that the meat release and then you're going to combine everything and this is how i cook my fajitas you can also do it with chicken you can do it with vegetarian style but this recipe is not vegetarian as you can see 
make sure you uh, mix everything okay the vegetables are already very uh, soft and that's the idea because you don't want to eat raw vegetables you can if you want but you know it won't taste good so you start mixing everything you can see that everything looks nice you can eat this with rice or tortilla we're finished okay by the way i know most of my videos are in spanish but you know once in a while i put some videos in english and i would appreciate if you comment or subscribe to my channel you know that would be very helpful okay we're finished we're gonna put a lid and now this is i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how i serve this uh this recipe okay look at look how it looks it looks okay it looks good to me it looks delicious fajitas okay let's put it here because i'm gonna do something you will see right now i also have a lot of other recipe in in english okay i have some you can visit my website or my youtube channel and you will find them there okay let's put the meat here and then we're gonna serve in a nice platter we want to make sure it looks awesome okay so we put that platter here and now we're gonna start putting the fajitas I don't know maybe some people like to add other things you can put cilantro if you want if you add cilantro I, I, I bet it will taste great I love cilantro so I, I'm already finished here putting all the fajitas in here La lots of bell pepper you can use more color you can also use orange bell pepper have you ever seen purple bell pepper yes they have them I've seen them but I've never used them it's all color you know I'm pretty sure it's sweet and it tastes very good okay so I already finished you know make sure you put all the fajitas in there and then we're gonna take a picture it will look great presentation is very helpful very good you know we, I'm trying to sell this video to you to see if you like it you know so at the end I want to take a picture make sure it looks it looks nice and this is recipe is not only for you you have to share it with your friends and family you know doesn't have to be a special day you can do it any 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 day of the week you know okay this is it that's my final picture and uh, I know some people like to eat this with a sauce, you know, and I have made a lot of uh, recipes with salsas. We don't call it sauce, but, you know, in Spanish it's salsa. And, yes, I will show you how to make this salsa. At the end of the, of, at the, end of the video, w there will be a link which, where you can click and it will take you to my video. It's in English how to make a salsa. It's like a Mexican, Latin American style. I'm not Mexican, but, you know, I like to cook all kinds of food, you know. Okay, so there, we have the salsa on the left side, and we got here a flour tortilla, and I just put it in the microwave for, like, 20 seconds. And then after that, you just start putting all the meat in there. It's like making a taco. I don't know, I think some people like to eat the fajitas this way. You It's like a wrap. You can wrap it in a... You can use corn or you can use flour. I prefer flour tortilla. And you can just put in the microwave, like I said, for 20 seconds. And then you start putting a little bit of the sauce in there. And then you just eat it. You can eat it with a nice Mexican beer. Or an American beer, doesn't really matter. But the idea here is to cook it at home, okay? So I hope you like the video. I hope you click what it says, I like it. And there you go. I have my fajita right here. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, you know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.